Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aida Kumaike Sunday. In this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you um, how to build an engineering or let me just say auto repair website. I tap on that last week I built a website and you know some of my students you know, so come and show us, do a video on how to build this, you know, stuff like that. So I'll be showing you the website and I'll be showing you a video on how to go about it from scratch. So let's take a look at the website. Now this is the website, this is the header and this is the menu. It's just a simple website, so this is the hero section in the, the about us in the home page other the hero section. And you know there's a sliding under it. So this is the about us section. And we have a sticky header here. And um, this is the service section. I see these are the service now. Sometimes you can build the service by adding the picture of the service to it because it's an image post. But then most times if you don't if we provide sure the client does not have a picture for each service, so you can decide to take away that image out of it and go ahead. So these are these are the image section, image section, image section, the image post rather. But then I deleted the image because the client does not have a particular picture for each service. So in case you don't have a particular picture for each service, you can decide to go like go this route. So this is important for more service. I did a gallery session of what they're doing, you know, gallery of the password they have done and stuff like that. So and this is the footer section and we have the about us here. I decided to do the about us in a way that is very, very different. You know, just simple what you know professional like about us and we have some shots here we have who we are can you see it our mission and our vision can you see it and what would appear okay and can you see some section about why they should choose them and then here yeah, i can come back to our services here so when you come to our services here you get to see a whole lot of things like i said it's something simple in here just to help you so that you can also know how to build this kind of website but sure you see if you meet any client I do you know because when the client actually asked me I was like how do I go about this I was actually thinking about that in my head but then I would you know I just need to come up with an idea and see how I can come up with something nice like this so that is I did not use any template it's just free it's really built from scratch so guys um I'll be taking you through on how to build this kind of website and at the same time i have a template but then if you stay with me at the end of this video i'll be telling you how you can get the template so that probably you might not even need to pass through all the stress you know of building it by from scratch by yourself you just you can just install the template and edit it by yourself right, so let's just see let's go and you know do something so first and foremost if you are new to my YouTube channel, probably you're, you know you, you are just new, you're just watching my video for the first time. Please, I will encourage you to do what to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to, you know, I want to hit 2K, you know, 2K subscriber, and I really need your help. I can't do it by myself, seriously. So please, and if you are not new to my YouTube channel, please, you can actually help me to share my YouTube channel to your friend, your loved ones, for them to watch. You know, all my video tutorial are free of charge. They are free. They are free. My video tutorial are to help you to grow as a web designer we have so many courses here so you can just come here in case you want to learn web design just come here you get to learn a whole lot of things about web design and if you want to learn any other skill any other skill you can get to learn it so please recommend my youtube channel for someone today and be a blessing to them so guys this is the website we want to be using to create our own website you know that we want to use to create this type of website and this is the home page let me refresh so that you can see it is empty nothing is there we have not even installed anything so and this is the dashboard so what we're going to do right away is that we're going to go to appearance to install our teams why do we need to install our teams i believe everybody can install wordpress because it is because we have installed wordpress that is why we are here and in case you don't know how to install a wordpress don't worry don't be you know don't give yourself any headache just come to my you know my video tutorial and try to scroll down towards to web design tutorial and click on the full playlist so when you click on the full playlist you will see how you on your own can do what can install wordpress just click on this place how to get your teams plugin and page builder you know when you click on this place you will see how i installed my wordpress and now i you know how to do everything so let's go ahead let's let I, I think i've showed you how to go about it so let's go back this is our dashboard why do we need to install 
our teams because right now we need to go and install our teams. And why do we need to do that? We need to install our teams so that it can give us a layout, a foundation, you know, a different outlook that we can use to build our website. Now, when you are building your website and you install your WordPress, there will be an automatic team that WordPress will give to you. But most time, that automatic team does not really give you the kind of design you want. Does not really give you the kind of layout you want. So in a better to enhance the kind of design and the layout you want, you need to install a team. And we have free teams and we have premium teams. Premium teams are teams that you pay for. You purchase them to use them. Why free teams like the name imply? Mean it is free. Come completely free you are not paying anything for it so we have different things I, I i told my student that see instead of you going for premium team just make a research on free team that can do the same work that premium teams can do so i don't really advise people to buy premium teams i advise them to get free teams so let's go get our free team i'm going to come to appearance can you see really like over an appearance and see these two teams teams and editors so i'm going to click on teams and when I click on this, it's going to load it out for me to see where I have my teams. And I'm going to click on add name because I want to add my new team now. So when I click on add name, it's going to load out this page for me. Now, I have two teams that I use. I make use of Astra or Cadence. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll make use of Cadence. So what you can do is that you can scroll down. You see the Cadence here. Can I see? And in case you did not see it here, you can type it here also. Can I see just Cadence? Immediately you type cadence there, you see it, it's come out right, just click on install. Now, one thing you need to know about if you're building a website with WordPress is that anything you installed, you must activate it for them to work. So I'm going to click on activate. If I did not activate it, it will not work. So if we come back to here and you refresh, what do you have? You have a new layout, right? There's a footer, there's a header. Fine, so let's go ahead. The next thing I want to go and do now is to go and install my plugin. Can you see plugin? You can click on install now to see. Install plugin rather. These are the demo plugin that come with your WordPress. I'm going to delete all of them. I don't need them. You can click on delete. Apply. I click on OK. We don't need this uh, plugin because they happen to me. They don't really have anything to do for us. So I'm going to click on add new. Now, there are theory of four kind of templates that would like us to install and the reason for installing all these templates is to enhance our work number one is elemental i'm going to come here and type elemental now you might want to ask why do we need to install a plugin if you are a new beginner a plugin is what you use to build your website is what you use to edit is, 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 let me just say a plugin is an additional functionality to your what to your website and we have different type of plugin and they perform different role different things like elemental now elemental is used to do what to edit your page builder this elemental header and footer is used to build the header of the website and the footer of the website. So it all depends on whatever thing you want to do. So for the sake of this story, I'm going to be going with elemental. I'm going to install it. I will scroll down to a version header for elemental. I'm going to install it. And then let me scroll up. Let me try to delete this elemental and try to install another thing. Let me just click on WP form. WP form is very very important. That is what we're going to be using in our contact us page. This is WP form. Cool. And then I would like to install classic widgets. Classic widget. Yeah, okay, this is it. And I think these are the four things I need to install. If you notice now, I've installed, but I didn't activate anything. Don't worry, don't bother yourself. So let's come to install plugin again. Install plugin means all the plugin you have installed. And now we come here. Can you see one, two, three, four? I'm gonna click on this place and click on bug action activate. I want to activate them once and for all. Click on activate. Now, after doing this, that's very cool. The next thing I need to do is to create an home page 
for each of these so i'm going to come here what is page I, to create a page is rather you know and this you know if you're creating a website your website we have different page we have the home page the about us page the contact us page the services page these are pages that talk to the client that talk to your audience about what it's all about now for example now in home page now it's talking about okay that is just a landing page where all the audience land into to get to see everything about the company why are you talking about about us page about us page is specifically for about the complaint where you can get to learn in and out about the complaint contact us page is where you can reach out to the complaint why in the services page is where you can get to know about the kind of services this kind of company render you know you're getting it so let's go ahead and start creating i'm going to click on all page add up okay all pages so by here i would like there are some dummy pages can you see that come with the wordpress i'm going to click on delete or move to trash and apply and the reason why we are doing all this thing is to get to make sure that okay we have a fresh stuff so i'm going to click on add new page now now when you click on add new page you know it's going to take you to a place whereby you know you can start adding your new page so i'm going to click on close just close out of this now you know the way everything filled up i could not see my panel here the wordpress panel that is i could not see so i'm going to come to this place but i like to see it click on option here and click on full screen exist out of it so can you see now i can see my panel cool let's go ahead i'm going to come back here and type home page how do i want my home page to look like I'll come, i'm going to come to default template and click on element of wood exactly and click on publish now when you click on publish you need to you need to click on it again the second time publish so can you see it now i'm going to click on add new again I want to add another new page to it. So the next thing what I want to do right away is to make sure I add an about us page. So I'm going to click on about us. About us. And I'm going to go publish. No, 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 no. Back, back, back. Cancel. Come to default template. Change the element of full width. And publish, publish. I'm going to come to here. Click on add new page again. You can click on it here or you click on it here any how you feel like and i'm going to do what i'm going to add uh, our service us our our service our services so i just come here change it to elemental full width and do what publish publish so wait for it again to publish fine add another new page to it and I will call I will call it contact us whereby people can be able to reach out to us. Contact us. Can you see it? So the first thing I want to do is I can leave it at default template. I can leave it as element of full width and click on publish, publish. Now Fine. When you create your stuff, what is the next thing? If you look at this place, let's refresh our website and let's see what's going on there. Can you see how the site look like? We're not there. We're not arranged. So we can arrange our menu. So for us to create a nice menu, come to your appearance, and you see when you over on appearance, you will see a drop down here. So click on your menu. Now, when you, we, we, it's very good to create a menu because it shows you about how your menu structure will look like. So that's what we want to do here, right away. So what will be the name of our menu? We can just call it menu one or, or menu. Rather, you can call it any name you want to call it. I click on create, or you can scroll down and attach it to your primary, secondary, mobile. If you feel like, create menu. Fine. You have created the menu now. The next thing we need to do is to come to this section. If you look at this section here, can you see this section here? Just click on select all, click on hatch menu, and you can do the arrangement by yourself. Now, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to arrange it home first, about us first, our service, and then it's okay like this. I'm going to click on save menu. So when I click on save menu, if you come to this place and you refresh, let's check our website and refresh. Okay, so now we have the arrangement, but normally we want our home to be home because if you click on this place now, you're going to see, can you see now what it's showing you? Yeah. 
Now, I mean, this is now, if you click on your logo here, because by default, this will be the logo for now. You see that now, this is what is showing us, and we don't want this to be our menu. We don't want this to be our landing page. So let's do some little settings. Come back to your back, the back end. Come to your um, settings, scroll down. Let's start with Pamela. This setting here, I'm going to click on Pamela first. I want to check something on Pamela. It's very, very important. That's your Pamela is set in day and name, which is not really professional. And it's not, it's not going to help your SEO. So for you to make it in a professional way, click on post name. And scroll down and click on save changes. After that, the other setting you need to come here is come to reading. Now, this is where you do the magic, all right? The home will be home. Can you see now? It's put in a latest post, and that is why you're seeing this is the latest post. That's why you're seeing when you come to your website, it's come to this place directly. But that's not what we want. We don't want that. Come to your reading, change it from a latest post to a status page, and make your own page to be your own. You can, if you have a blog section, you can put, make your post page to be a blog section. So scroll down and click on save changes. Now by default now, if I refresh now, it will be under my home. Can you see now? Under my home. If I click on home, I will see be here. Nothing like home slash, you, you understand? Fine. Our first is coming up, so let's build the header and the footer. Without wasting much of time, and let's start building our website. Cool. So I'm going to come back to my. Um, let me go back to my front end. Yeah. And let me click on customize, and I open it in a new tab. So guys, let's just check it. It's loading. Let's wait for it. But then, guys, I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, seriously, we, we we have a passion to to impart people with knowledge, and and, and seriously, it's our joy to serve you to make sure we provide relevant content for you. So, guys, what we're gonna do right away is this very simple. <coughs> I'm gonna, let me just come here and download the logo of this guy. I'm not sure I have it on my laptop here again. I'm gonna just gonna save image. I'll wait for it to save. So just give me like one minute. So it's loading. Okay. I'm just gonna call it okay, okay like that. I'm gonna click on save change, save. So I'm gonna come back to you here. Yeah? the first thing I want to do is that I want to do setting of color. It's very, very important. So let's start with your color. Do you know where I click on? Let me show you back again. I click on color and front. The front you'll be using is monster red and the color is just uh, let me show you the color code I'll be using here. This is the color code, major color code, this is the primary color code. So I'm gonna to come to this primary color here. Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna change it the, this one and print this color code. Now let me let me help you to echo the color code. The color code is 0909 Theory C. 09 09 and that is the same color code I will use for this guy also. So I will make his own yellow. So I am copy the yellow color code. Now the yellow color code is FFC719. FFC C4 cards. So that is the shoot that 719. So I hope you're getting it. So these are the major color code I will be using for the sake of this website. So, um, your link color code, you can define it. Leave it like that. By default, you will have pick what the need to pick. So, I'm going to click on publish. Now, I'll go back again to my button. I think, yeah, they have captured the same. They have picked the same color. I'll go back to my typography. This is the way it works. I'll do my typography this color, this particular color, this part, the primary color. And I'll change this stuff to Montserrat. And I'll give it a, a style, of, let me just say 700. 
and I can give it um, I just make it 18 yeah 18 is okay for me so I'll come to H1 here I'll leave the color the same way I will change it to Montserrat Montserrat A short style, I can leave it like 700, yeah, it's okay. And 32 is okay for me, yeah, it's okay. I'll go to H6, like another thing now, H6. Like, yeah, yeah, again, I will leave it size color to be like this. Montserrat. And I can make it size to be 18, yeah, very cool. So I'm going to publish. So, yeah, we're going there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We are still building our header. So, um, I think that's the. Uh, so, I come to here, click on this place to so import my logo. Select, I'll just make it a logo alone. Select my logo and I'll try to upload it. Let me just click on this place. To upload my logo, this is it, and I'll drag it here. So when I drag it here, I'll just wait for it to. This is it. I click on select, which is already cropped, so there's no need for me to crop it again. Skip. This is my logo. Well fitted. I can decide to make it 250. 250. I'll scroll down. Fight icon. Let me just do that sharp sharp. Okay, my fight icon. Sorry, my fight icon. Okay, my fight icon. I will just make it of this also. Select and I will drag this to to this aspect here. And I'll click on crop image to fit it for my fight icon. Fine. Now I will come to this place. I'll select, I'll come to the design. I can increase it to 1.3 or 1.4. Yeah, it's okay like this. I'll come to my design. Mm -hmm. My design. I can make it the color, navigation color. I click on it. I click on initial color. Yeah. It is over. You can be this. Active color, I want the active color to be this. Yeah, I have my reason. So, what else again? What else again? I think it's okay. It's okay for the other. So, I will, I will go back to. Um, 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 let me just go back to my footer. Yeah, let me come here. I'll click on this place. And now we come to. I'll just leave this here and I'll come to my general. I'll delete all these team credits and put this here. I can just come here. Put this here. Yeah, sorry. Put this. And type design. Design. By. By. Delete web design. Delete web design and complain. I can just add a complaint to it. Yes, yes. No, that's no, not just. So I can just decide to copy this place and link it to my website so people can come up with HTTPS semicolon this deleting dot com. Put this for slash. Enter. Hmm. Yeah. So the next thing I want to do is that I want to give this color a very all this color. Yeah. I like to make so easy. Contain. I think I would go for contain. Yeah. Contain is okay. I'll give it a design color, which is I'll just scroll down. Widget row white. Widget content white. Link color. I'll make my link color to be yellow. Yeah, uh, body, body rule, I'll give it this color, power color. 
of a village I click on publish the same thing I will do here here now here I will do the same thing I can even make it contain of let me try contain and here come to design we get that it will be white front it will be much red I have a reason and regular we can leave it for regular or we make it 500 and let's leave this franchise make it 18 and if I will make it 20 that will tie to for the content we make it white also very important let's go ahead and type more select I'm going to be using more select and you come here we're going to be using regular okay let's leave it for regular select size and make it 18 that's okay so the real background I'm going to be using this color and Pattern, um, 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 let me see if I can add border to it at the top. No, let me leave it. Okay, publish. You come back to your general, scroll down. Yeah, top spacing. I mean, the top spacing is from the footer to up here yeah, i will show you what i mean i'll change this one to 60 60 and i'll click on save no after i'm going to change it to 60 i'll come here here will be widget one here will be widget two here will be widget three you can decide to use your own you can decide to use four widget but this is what i mean let me show you what i mean here this is for one this is for two this is for three so I'll come here. I will set widget two to be center, but on mobile to be displays. And I will set it up. So I will come back here. I will set up the design. I will say widget title, widget content should be white. Can you see so that it can be something like this? Okay, cool. No worry, I'm going somewhere. Click on publish. So I have built the footer finish. But if you come here, you will not see anything. Let's refresh here. The little that you see, right? It is the little you can see, right? Another thing again is that I will change this one from content to full width. So I'll come here. I'll put standard here and I'll come here again do the same thing put standard here cool publish now in this widget stuff okay I can just let me see maybe I've done it widget design white white okay I've done that so let's go ahead and do something let me make it link also white and publish so let's do something now. Let's go straight. Let me go to my dashboard. I can do it from here, but I don't like to use it. But that is why I installed that classic widget. So let me come to appearance. You see widget here. If you did not install that classic widget, let me show you the classic widget. Please plug in. Please stop plugging. I want to show you the plugin that will do this function. Can you see this is the plugin classic widget? You notice that I installed it in the beginning of this video. It's because I want to be I want to use it from the dashboard. I'll click on widget now. Now I will come here. The first thing I will come here is that if you look at this place, this is test. Everything there is test, right? So I'll come here. Widget. You scroll down to where you can see your test. Can you see this is the place you can see test? Click on it and select footer one. Mainly you select footer one, click on it and click on add widget. It's going to ask you. So what I'm going to put here is that I'm going to put the title here. This one about us is the title. Control C and come here. Put it here. 
and come here, copy this description here. Go to C and come here, paste it here. When you're done doing that, just click on save and click on done. You're done with widget one. Widget two, if you look at this widget two here, filter two here, you look at it here, you see that it is link, right? Menu link. So you come here. You click on navigation menu, can you see it here? Click click on this, filter two, add widgets. You come and type to it here, quick link. And yeah, you select the menu you want to appear here. This is the menu. Click on save and click on done. The third one is this place. This one, address. So I'll copy this address. Ctrl C. I'll go back to my address. I'll click on test. Where is the test again? Okay, this test. Click on it. Now, which are we going to be added to that theory? Click on widget, add to widget. Scroll. The title of the test will be address, and I'll copy all our address here. Can I see? Ctrl C. I'll come back here and paste. Can you see now? I click on save, and I click on draw. Now, by the time I come back here to refresh, you will see. Let's take a look at what we have here. Can we see now? But then if you look at this place, we see that our stuff is still not filled up. But you can see refresh again. If it persists, then that means we have an issue. And the issue is to come back to your customize here. Okay. Come to your, you know, full it. Come back to this section. Middle row or setting here. And go to your general. Okay, that one we did is for the mobile phone. Click on standard. Can you see? Do the same thing for this guy. Click on standard also. Publish. And come back here, refresh. Can you see now? It's cool. Can you see? I increase this place from year to year to 60 pieces. Can you see now? That is why. No, cool. We have a we, we have a cool stuff. We can decide to change all the heading here as with this color. So if you want to do that, you can come back to this place. Customize and come to your design for this place. Let's come to setting here. So we come to design. We just try to change it and put it yellow and save. I can come to general, scroll down. I can increase this one to like 100. And click on update publish i come back to this place refresh and let's see what we have here can we see now i think it's cool we have the menu we have the footer but i think as we should do one thing to this place, we should make it a sticky menu sticky the other let's come here so let's scroll up this is one of the you know one of the things we face when you are building from scratch <laughs> come to header Scroll down to um no 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 sticky there can you see it here? Click on it and click on oh yes I want it to be sticky. Sorry, change it from only mirror, change the whole header. Come to mobile phone also, change it to yes, whole header, and click on save changes. So by the time you do that, if you scroll, can you see we have the same cool? Now we are done with this. Let's start building our website. So the first thing I'm going to click on is I'm going to click on edit page. When I click on edit my page, it's going to take me to the default edit, a WordPress edit. So I'm going to say, no, 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 I don't want that. I want to use Elementor. So you're going to look that for me. You know, guys, I was telling you that if you stay with me to the end of this, video, I'm going to show you how you can get this template and you know how you can just do this. Now, if you have to do all these things from scratch by yourself, designing everything like the way I take it, take me eight hours. And if I'm to do that, obviously, eight hours video, you will not even be interested again because I'm a human being and I can't do something that will, you know, 
that will make my student feel thermal. So guys, so you know, if you look at this way, in a new section, oh, I want to show you, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this, okay. If you look at here yeah, now, this is an arrow section now. So if you want to build this kind of stuff, you can just come here. Let me just see. I won't build it, but I just want to tell you, show you how you can go about. Click on this place. You can click on this big one. And decide to make it, uh, what's it called? Uh, minimum height, make it 600. Yeah. Come to style. Click on classic. Ah, I don't have any picture here. Oh my God, I don't have any picture. I don't have any picture here. But let me just use this as an example. Let me click on this. Select. This is not the best job. I'm just showing you because I don't have any picture here. So I'll come here. Position. Center. Center. Attachment. No repeat. No repeat. Display side cover. And then I'll, I'll, I'll just come to background over here. And I'll click on classic and I click on color and I'll make it a bit same as same. Can you see I can increase it to like 6.5 0.65 then I can come here you know I told you this is not the best but then I come here and just bring in search heading I will come you know it started from up I will come back here click on here come to layout Click on center, center, or the click on here. Yeah, to start from here. Now I'll come here. I'll just type welcome to. Don't forget, it's not a professional store, but I'm just showing you. Welcome to. Come here. Change the color from here to this one or white color. Can you see it? white watch front size are we using you can just guys now another thing i will need to do is let me just let me just do this one first on share it i just is 18 oh, let me just check i just want it to be small just 20 the content should be welcome to you so from them i will i can duplicate this duplicate this duplicate so I'll just come here again, copy this heading. Can't you see? I just put it here. And I will increase the size to 35 or 45. And let me just use 35. Yeah. From there, I'll come back here and put a drag in test editor. You can see it. I will come here, just copy this. Come back to this place. Please this dev editor. Delete this one. Paste this one. And I will come back to this place. Style. Change it to white. Test. I will change it to more select. If you notice this. Let's start with it here. I can just give this one 18. And then I will come back here and give it a button. Button underneath. So I can just call it, let me see what this guy call it. Okay, lemon. Lemon. I will just link it to about us. I will link it to this place about us. I just type the name of the page I want to link it to. Come to style. I decide to change this color to what to this color. And aside that, I can give it a border radius. I can just leave it like that. Yeah. I just leave it 20. No, 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 no. I will leave it. I will leave it empty. So. I can, I can, I can do something, um, part in a uh, border radius, no, 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 no. Okay, let me see what I can do with border radius. Maybe I can come up with something here. Um, I'm trying to see. 
I don't know if they read like that. I'll come to typography here and change it to an incubator to one share it. So from there, I can, um, what can I do? I want to run, make this thing run. Let me see. Let me see. I didn't do that in that previous let's just go like this. Now, you know, by that, you know, I, I can just come to this place, to all this place and give it 50, 50, 50 padding, so that this stuff will be, you know, I can just give them 50, 50 padding, or let me just come to this place. I can also give it from here also. Let me check if this place will work out the way I want it. No, 50, yeah, or let me just see 100. Okay, okay, cool. I can still come here again and just do a break here, break here. But then, you know, look at all the stress that you will be passing through. It's gonna be very stress to me, that's what I think though. But before I do anything, before I do anything, I would like to come to here, if you look at here, click on here. I'll come to site setting. It's very, very important, please do so. If you are building from scratch, click on site setting. I wait for it. Most of the thing we do here that we do in the customization. Oh, click on here. Look at this front. Most of them does not appear applied to Elementor here. I'll just come back to come and apply them. I'll come to global color. The global color, can you see? And I told you. So I'll just copy, I'll just change the global color, global color to you. And you say 090930C. Yeah. The same thing I do here. But you see, it's all I will put here also. So I will come here, I will also put it here also. So I will come here, I will put the yellow color here, which is the category color FFC719. Yeah, I click on update. <coughs> so I've done that like that. I will scroll up again. Like scroll back here, click on this back place. I'll come to front. Don't forget the our front is what most red. So I'll click on this place. I'll change it. She primarily should be Mont Serret. I can leave this place empty or give it a primary or maybe like let me just say 18. I'll come to secondary. I will change it here to Montserrat also. I don't know, I like that front. I can leave it as 17 or 18, anyhow you want it. Test. Change it also to Montserrat. Everything is Montserrat. I can leave it at default. Ascent also Montserrat. And then I'll click on update. <laughs> Now we are free because by default now anything we are bringing now will be taking the size. Now let me show you something. I want to test something for you. Let us me. I want to scroll down here and drag this button under this guy. Can you see the kind of color is bringing now? Can you see that pick our color automatically? But if I don't want it, if I want it to be showing this yellow, I can just change this place. Hope you're seeing it now. But before, which color is drinking? It's bringing that here. Um, I think maybe green color stuff like that. Yeah. So now, but I'm not using all this design. I will delete all this. And I just showed you how you can build it. Okay, that doesn't mean you want to build this section. No? And this is a two column section. If you want to build this section, you just come here again, scroll down, come to this aspect, pick this two section. So you want to pick this twist and give it a up and top and um, button, just give them margin. I'll uh, leave this place, come to top, give it 50 or 40, and come to bottom, give it plus 40 or so. The margin is very good to have a white space. So I'll come to layout, I'll scroll, I will just want to say, okay, go down, I want to come down direction <clears throat> okay let me look like this 
I just said, okay, let you guys be better. Or let me just say, set me to me to colon gap 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah, so I can just come here and just copy and edit. Or let me just say, I want to drag and edit. Here. I'll just show you what I mean. Editing, yeah. I will not put anything inside the editing. Test editor, yeah, under it. I will not put anything. Button, button under it. And I'll just click here. I'll just drag image to this place. Image was. Sure, you see like that. That is the boss. So I'll call here about us. I'll write about the company and link this place to maybe check about us or see our services, stuff like that. That is that, like that, like that, like that. I'll be like, I'll be doing it. Hope you're getting it. So, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've already gotten all the templates. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want, to, want us to waste much time. Like I said, if I'm to build this thing from scratch, it's gonna be taking. When I was building this, it take me like eight hours to finish it because I don't really like spending much hour on my site. Maximum day I used to build my website is 24 hours, but you know, building from scratch usually take much time. So guys, I'm gonna delete all the thing I've done and use the template. Don't worry, I will show you how you can get the template at the end of this video tutorial close out of this and I'll just close this out I don't even take my time to build this very well so guys let's go ahead I'm gonna click on this and I'll wait for it I want you know want to use templates so we'll come to my template here can you see it come here so I have created my template so I'll click on upload this arrow guys is an upload arrow click on it and click on select file So by the time you click on select file, it's going to load you, to, you know, take it to your laptop where you can see the kind of file you need for your website. So guys, so can you see engineering or electrical website or repairing website, anyway you want to call it. So I'm going to click on, um, let me click on this. Open. And I'll click on continue. Enable and import. So I'll just wait for it. Can you see that import what? Okay, this is the contact us page. So let me go and import the home page. Now, the way the issue lies that you won't know which one is home or which one is available. So I'm going to just click on can I import all of them at once? No, I think it's one by one. Let me click on this. Open. Continue. So, guys, please wait. So as we are waiting, um, I, I would like to tell you something, and that is about Jesus Christ. Seriously, I want you to know that we all need Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ really loves you and he cares much about your life. Please and please, in case you have not given your life to Christ, I want to implore you to give your life to Christ. All I am doing is just for the sake of Christ, Christ is the reason why. So if you give your life to Christ, you know... You're going to enjoy a whole lot of change, seriously, because personally to me, I've enjoyed a whole lot of change just because I gave my life to Christ. And I can assure you, you will enjoy the same thing in your business, your career, and in everything you do. So, let's continue. I just want to ship in that. So, um, I've installed the homepage, you know, can you see it? So, click on Insert. Click on Apply. So, let's just wait for it. Can you see every, everything has been installed completely? Can you see it? So all you need to do is to just start editing. Oh, I put my own picture here. You know what? My own picture, you could delete and put your own picture there. You know now. <laughs> now, for example, now this picture here, how do you locate the picture? Just, just, you know, click on here. Oh, just click on here. Right click on here. Can you see? Right click. And I click on edit section. And if you don't know what to do here, come to here, navigation, can you see all the session will be asked, click on here, by the time you click on here, you'll be able to see all the session, come to style, this is where I put the image slider, you can edit them, or delete them, or put your own image, so that is for the section, you can delete anything you don't like here, come to section 2, oh yeah, can you see this is another container again here, in this container now, we have 
the two in a two section container. If you look at it, you see I have a two section, one section, second section. Inside this fourth section, we have all about this is about us. And we have this, we have this, and we have a picture of an image. So the reason why you see that this image is you know is because of this word is very long, so you can shut it. So but this is what the client wants. And this image is actually talking this image in this container. Image, can you see it? This image is in, the, is in this container. So one thing I actually, I actually want you to do is that make sure your image are in the same size. I do cut my image 600 by 400. Sometimes I do 500 by 500. So it's all depending on what you want. So if you scroll down again, you see another container again. Can you see this? Another section. Can you see it here? Can you see it? And inside this, we have so many sections. Can you see? We have one column. And inside this one column, we have inner section, inner section, inner section. So that is the this is first inner section, this is another inner section. So guys, I hope you're getting it, you can edit, you can take away anything you don't like out of it, you can delete anything. So that doesn't mean you don't want you don't want you don't have up to six services that you only have three services. You can delete this one. Can you see I can delete this one? Can you see it remain this? And if I have more than three services, I can do a duplicate this. Can you see now? So I have duplicated them here. So that is just basically how to go about them. I can control Z, control Z. I have to make it okay. So that is how you're gonna go about everything. If you don't want all these pictures, this is an image gallery, this is a gallery. Just come here and click on this place. Can you see this how the gallery? Let me take away this. I think I don't need this again. So just come here, this is the pencil icon, click on it, you check it to this place, you can delete all this gallery and upload your own, that's all. And once you are done, you update here. That doesn't mean, let me just say, okay, let me just say I clean this one. Okay, I want to put it here. Eh? Let me update. So I've updated. Now let me come back to my website to come and check something. This is my website before, but by the time I click on control R to refresh, you see, I have a very clean, nice website without taking much of my time. Now imagine you want to build all these things. Look at the hour you're going to spend in just coming up, you know, doing all these things. So I'm done with the home page. I'll go back to what? Let me go to about us page. Let me show you again. So let me close out of this. And let me go to about us page. Is that something? So let's edit our about us page. Open a new tab. Sorry, I can open a new tab. It's going to take me to my stuff, so I'm going to wait for it to load. So, and I'm going to follow. I want to use Elementor, edit with Elementor, and the same thing. You just follow the same procedure as well. I know this thing are mobile friendly, they are very, very mobile friendly. I've shared the site in the mobile version, and you know, this is how you do to enhance your design, to make sure your design come up with a very nice design. So I'm just going to come here, um, come to, you know, this second one, click on it. Instead of coming to block stuff, you're going to go to my templates. I'll come to my templates, come to install. Click on select file. Wait for it to be able to direct it to your word to your stuff. So I'm gonna click on the second one. I think the second one should be our about us. Click on it. I'm gonna ask you click on continue. Can you see it? I think yeah, it's an about us page. Click on insert insert. Click on apply. Can you see it? Within a few time we are done. So guys, this is just basically how to go about everything. So let me just immediately I'm done. I'll just so I'm, I'm just gonna update. Click on update. To so update it. Now let us mean you you, you, you you don't have you know who we are, you can delete it and leave it to you. You can do anything with it. If this is not what you have, this is an icon boss, I mean um icon store or icon list. Just click on it, you see all the list here. You can click on it to be able to edit them, put in your own here. Maybe I mean, you do web design, you can just put web design. Can you see it? It's very simple like that. So, can you scroll down? 
If there's anything you don't like this way, the new the slider, you want to edit this slider. What we do here is that I, I, I didn't add image to this place. Click on this place. This is background stuff. Click on this column. Come to your style. Come to your background. This are this where I add all the image at the background. And put all the image there. Now go click on update. You're done. Then you come back to your about us here. And you refresh. Can you see? Without wasting much of a time, come to your service. What we take others hours to build. You, you are just getting it at a, you know. Within two hours, you will be done. So let me close out of this. And I'm going to click on Edit with Elementor. The same procedure again. That's the same thing I want to be doing here. And before you know it, I am done building the site. So guys, that is why sometimes you you try to follow people who, who, who you know who are relevant, who have passion for this, so they will be able to show you way. And I think one of the best people you can follow online is the leading web design because we make sure we provide, you know, it will make design easy for our audience. So I'm going to click on this place also. Click on my template, and I'm going to just click on upload to upload our service template. Click on select file. I think that will be the third one here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this should be this one. And click on open. Continue. Yeah, what do we have? Okay, click our service. I think that so click on start now. Insert and click on apply. The next one minute again. We are build and won't finish. Can you see? I'll show you how you can edit the picture. If you want to edit the picture of this particular, I'm waiting for it to load. Just hold on for three minutes, please. Now, if you want to edit the picture of this particular stuff here, you can right click here or click on edit section or you come to the here, navigator, click on navigator here and to show you the two sections, click on this, this place. When it's open to you here, come to your style here. You see the image here, and you edit your stuff that though. And you scroll down, this is where we have all the service. And I told you, this is an image boss. Image boss, if you click on this pencil icon, actually this is where you can add your picture. But because we don't have a picture that be fit, let me let me just put, let me just use one picture. I'm going to delete them now, but let me just see one picture for you. Let, let me, so you can see. Can you see now? So see how the image boss look like here. You know, it should be full. You can come to your style here. Come to your style here, and um, you can position it here. No, 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 no. Okay, now let me go by this. I have my image. You stretch it to 100. 100. Can you see now? That we have it. But make sure this same image, size of this image, is the same size you put for all this. But then, because I don't have an image for all this stuff, all I need to do is to go by what I have. So I'll be coming back to this place and delete this image. So it follow the same trend. Hope you're getting it. If you have the image of each you know, particular stuff, you can make use of it. And that's all. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna click on update and come back to my service here and refresh. Can you see it? I have it here. Without stress. It remains the last pages is the contact us. But before then, I would like to do something in my back end here. Let me close this one. Let me go and create a contact us form. Just simple one. I'll come here. Click on, you know, we have installed the WP form. So if you scroll down here, you see this WP form that we just installed. Click on. If you click on all form, you see that it is empty. There's no form here. So you click on add new form because we just want to add a new form so we not even do anything paparazzi here we just go with the default uh, template that we have here so i'll just hold on a little bit okay let's go no problem let's go so okay i'll just click on done so what i want to do here basically is that i want to use this template can you see this one click on use template
this is the template i'll just come here and i'll just i did this one from comment and or message i'll change it to message only delete and um i think everything is okay i can change it i can leave this one because this name will not show click on save when i click on save when it's saved i will exit out of it i'm done so when i edit out of it this code is what i need either this code if i use because of this code so i'll come back to here i'll click on contact us you know we need to edit that page also now i'll click on edit page open a new tab and you know if you notice i did not pause this video i did not pause it this morning so i'm trying just trying to let you know that you can i'll click on edit with elemental you can build a website within just a couple of times if you have your content and the reason i'm doing this video for you is that you can get to know how you can build this thing by yourself and at the same time you can get to know how you can do it in an easier way like i used to say i said there are two ways to make money in life they are the we have the hard way and we have the easiest way believe me let me tell you too, you know some people will tell you you need to work hard work hard work hard for you to make money but we are still people who are working at who are not making any money because you see those people who are pushing truck where well, you know all this big buy in the market you see those who are doing this big clean job look at the money they are getting one for two five three thousand a day and whereas right, people who just sit down with their laptop within just one let me you get this job now within two hours or let me just say three hours or let me just say maximum 24 hours you have collected like 150k minimum and the money you'll be spending is just the main and nothing is 24,000 error it means 120,000 let's just have me 126,000 and you know <laughs> within one day you are done all you need to do is just to get the template and just install and just follow the method that's all so it's very easy my friend so i'm going to come to this place again and come to my template and this is the contact us page i've installed it in earlier just click on start and apply that's all you're done you're done can you see so the only issue you will have here is that the form and we have created our own form if you look at here can you see here you see that the form is not showing up so just come here click on this button now okay just click on form here click on screen to contact and release the form of create you know to show up now can you see i click on update my brother guess what we are done finishing out all you need to do is just come and if you want to edit the address come here click on this pencil icon type the name of the address of the, your own client put it here delete this one and put your own there come here put your own address here the address the phone number can you see is an icon stuff so you can come here when you click on this it you open put in let me just say let me show this one to number 56 number 56 ntc road okay i do okay i do the button this is my my address in the button let me change this one to my address in lagos my office address in lagos is number one coco coco industry industry akilo road Let me take away this navigator so that I can be seeing what I'm typing. Can you see Akinlaw Road? I want my Akinlaw to start with capital letter. Akinlaw Road. Ogba. I just put it like that. So, can you see as I'm typing it, it's changing. Now, immediately, I, immediately I'm ready. Let's say I want to change my own log stuff here. I'll just copy this my address. I can see. Come back to here. This pencil icon. Click on it. And change this one delete this one put my own here and let's see what we bring out let's see what we're gonna have here can you see can you see the map fitting into this place i want to try something i want to try something let me delete let me just put the leading web design i want to see the i want to see something the leading web design i just want to say <laughs> The leading web design of oh, wow. I want to see something. Yeah, and it's that is exactly what I want to share. Can you see it? Because I've actually registered my business and 
and Google my flyer I want to check it out so it's cool so I'm gonna leave it like that I click on save and this but number here is a, is, is a link so click on this you see the link here this is the link here so any number you put here must be the number you put to this place so that once they click on it if you direct them to their call phone that they can call them straight it's a link hope you understand so let me come here and refresh so guys can you see it we have it here this is using web design it's just so simple <laughs> So guys, we, 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 you know, we have come to the end of this video tutorial, but then I will be teaching you how you can get this template. You can reach out to me to get this template. Mind you, you know, it's going to be 100% free, but because you are coming from a YouTube channel, I'm going to be giving you a very massive discount on this template. I can get it like you're just getting it for free, but it's not free. Hope you understand. So if you're interested in the template, you can reach out to me on 90 um, you can reach out to me. Let me just come in. Let me change the number here to zero nine zero three five three eight two two seven one zero nine zero three five three eight two two seven. That's my WhatsApp number also. So feel free to reach out to me to get your. So you can reach out to me through this number. Very, very, it's you know, it's a good thing to have you here, and you know, um, so this, this is the number you can reach out to me on to get your script 090 2271. Then, before we go, I would like to talk to you that please, guys, don't forget Jesus loves you and he has a very good plan for you, he really care much about your life. Please, please, I want you to give your life to Christ so that you can enjoy the best. Please, if you like this video and you know you, you really like this video, please, you can actually click on the like button. If you have any question you have, please comment on the comment section. Please, uh, your, your comment is very, very important to us because it allows us to know how we can help you in a better way please drop your comment i'll be expecting that and if you want to reach out to me on any question you can reach out to me on that same number 090 i'm always online all the time and i will always attend to your message thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video i really appreciate it. god bless you have a wonderful day ahead of you the leading of design love you and jesus love you bye